Hello, everyone. Welcome to this event of the evening where we build some deadly salvage stuff live on stream. I'm going to come back into the voice chat now and talk to my lovely co host this evening. Hello, everyone. We are now live. So, uh, I have started a world and my everything is still on super tight. Uh, field of view because I was taking a screenshot earlier. Get that out here and blammo. Hello, Fog. Hello, Candor. Hello, Upgrade. Hello, hello, everyone. Godzilla lover. Welcome. And not Bob, of course. So, uh, gents, you are welcome to join me in the world. I believe all of you are on the, the DE friend list. So tonight I am joined by BD and Clonk. And Hello. Jeray's here. He may not play because he's feeling a little burnt out on SE, but he's happy to talk lore with us. Oh, wow, it actually spawned you real close. Let me make a faction here. Now the question that everyone's asking is what does the Navy do with drunken sailors? <laughs> Obviously they put them in a boat until they're sober. A space boat? A space boat, yes. Oh, I mean all, all space spaceships are boats. What the heck? They put them inside an old Gemini capsule specifically for that purpose. Yes. Put them in a Gemini capsule till they're sober. Although that would probably be bad if it was one of the ones that was spinning around. Okay. Ah, yes, Kander. But I knew the warships would summon you. So what we're going to do here. Um, I wasn't sure how many people were going to be tagging along. Um, I'll accept everyone. All right. So there is a faction. Uh, Clonk, if you want to join that, that way we don't have any, um, unfortunate weapons mishaps. Uh, but what's going on here is we are building ourselves a cruiser. So I was thinking, uh, okay, so perfect honesty, I was totally listening to Space Doc and, uh, listening to some of the, uh, the lore stuff that he's put out for his, uh, what is it called, the Sojourn universe? And also thinking about lore and other things. And I realized that the Federal Navy has like four ships. And I'm like, that is not a Navy. I mean, it is, but it also isn't. So what I want to do is there's a big hole in it. Because we've got, there's like those little tiny, I'm actually going to paste these things into the world here. Uh, what is it called? Atreides. We got the little Atreides Corvette here. Some of the mods are missing out of this world because the railgun isn't weapon core. We got these little things. These are garbage, by the way. They're horrible. Uh, at, like you would expect from a peacetime navy. Then we've got... The okay. Apex Fire Support Destroyer. This one, I believe, is FNS Tiger. No, this one doesn't have a name. So the little one is hey, 16 Wigan. blocks long. Holy cow, it's been forever. How's it going, man? Hello, Upgrade. Welcome to the stream. You may join. Hello, hello. So uh, I am going to ask that no one take any blueprints unless it's a ship that you've built. Like, the, the, the ship that you will be able to blueprint is the one that we finished building. But these deadly salvage ships that I'm pasting in, please do not blueprint them. Noted. Um, I'm unable to join. I'm not on the friend list. Um, try now. I just set it to private instead of friends. No, I'm, I'm not friended with you oh, on Steam. Uh, what about, are you, are you friended with anybody else in here? Let me let me find something. Hang I on. don't think so. One moment. Well, Steam now has an option that you can give out friend codes, if that yeah, helps. Working on it. Okie dokie.
messaging paste there you go thank you okay trimaran galactic has heavy armor shield sticking out the top of the bottom of the side pods having up the side interesting Okay, let me get the, the rest of these ships in here and move the sun to a more reasonable angle. Okay, I, I've been measuring ships, so that's why there's the, uh, this one has the LCD on it, which has my measurements in it. <laughs> Fair enough. So what is it called? When you said measurement, I was thinking like, you know, measurements, not like the measurement of the ship. So my mind got really confused. I was like, why are you trying to show us your measurements? This is a assault ship. It carries, uh, it carries troops to invade stations or special forces, stuff like that. There are no carriers in the Federal Navy because small ships are pathetic in combat and don't work because the point defense is too good and it makes more sense to just put all those weapon systems on a bigger ship that can actually take a hit. Oh wait, which ship are we supposed to be building in between lengthwise? Okay, so um, the size is not super important other than it shouldn't be bigger than Unity. Um, ideally, somewhere around or between the size lengthwise of uh, the Malediction and the Apex, but a little bit of wiggle room is there. And then I'll put Unity in here so everyone can see how ridiculously huge this is. Um, just heads up to you, it looks like this little patrol craft is either designed asymmetrically or has battle damage in your blueprint. It's designed asymmetrically. Okay. Gosh, she's huge. All right, so those are the five Union ships that we've seen. That's it. So, the, uh, like I said, the, I, I kind of want it between the, oh, this is the PvP version of Sorcerer of the Malediction that I made a while back. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so the Union is big, right? So the whole idea behind cruisers was to have something that was big enough and long range enough to be able to project power, but cheap enough to where you could build lots of them and, and send them out to various holdings around the world. That's what cruisers were. Um, and so what I want from a cruiser is something that has some like command and control ability, um, that kind of thing. It has its long duration. Uh, weapon systems up in the air. Uh, talking about protection, whether it's whether it's something that's fast and just long range or something that relies on armor. This is a post AI war design. And if you weren't aware, the AI were the ones that invented shields and all shields that the union have are reverse engineered from captured AI shields. So. That's some lore for you. Uh, Fog, gotcha. Unity is a sci-fi uh, Is there any dreadnought. particular weapons you want uh, the cruisers to support? Um, so the Union only has one uh, energy weapon, which is the what people have been calling the Unity Beam, which is just an Atlas laser. Um, everything else has been projectile-based. We haven't seen a lot of missiles, most the 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 non-lore reason for that was that uh, space engineers missiles were garbage when I first started recording this series, and Nav and I decided that you know, the unguided rockets aren't that great. Um, the lore reason is point defense in the Deadly Salvage universe is really good. Um, you'll see you'll see pirates use missiles sometimes. You'll see. Uh, You'll see, you see the AI use, the, the Immolations forces use missiles, uh, but they were attacking civilian ships. 
military vessels, you need a lot of saturation to punch through their point defense. So you don't get a lot of uh, you don't get a lot of missile weapons unless there there's a lot of them. Conversely, though, the Union hasn't been fighting anyone for two hundred years, so they might have put missile weapons as uh, standoff weapons on their cruisers. That's possible. Hello, Nerif. As I knock my mouse sideways. I'm going to take myself off push to talk since Nab's not in here. Oh, where's push to talk? There we go. There. Much better. Now I don't have to push a button the whole time. Nice. All right. So I wanted to, I wanted to outsource this because like I can build a ship, but I don't think I've, I, I streamed a little bit of Unity's build um, to patrons, but I've never done like a live streamed universe, in universe build for everybody to come see. Uh, Fog, so the design wise, they're post-war, so I'm gonna guess, uh, so Unity is the newest ship of the fleet. Uh, she is only three or four years old at the time of Deadly Salvage. Uh, which is just long enough to get all the bugs out. These cruiser designs, uh, so just to give you an idea, these Apex cruisers here uh, were being produced just before the war. That's why they've got this big asymmetric design and they've got the uh, the big shield here, the big armor shield. This is an armor belt, an exterior armor belt. And then they've got, oh, did it not? Hang on. Oh, some of the weapons didn't come in. Oh, they're there. So you can see here, they've got rail guns and how the rail guns work, they just fire. So these hard points all have rail guns on them. And so they would broadside on, hide behind the shield to protect the crew and they would shoot with guns outward. Nerif, that's an interesting question. Nerif is asking, what were the inspiration sources for the design philosophy that drive the human ships versus the AI ships? Uh, if I'm going to be perfectly honest, uh, that looked cool to me, that looked cool to me, uh, this was a blueprint I already had, and this I had an idea for, and this is, this is a red shirt, is what that is. Um, but, uh, what it's turned into is the, the Union, they rely heavily on their captured shield technology, although they do have, they do have some ships that have reasonably, reasonable armor protection, and very much direct fire weaponry. Um, not a lot of guided weapons. There's no, there's not a whole lot of direct energy weapons. Um, a lot of these ships are going to be out on their own doing stuff, uh, showing the flag because the Union's very large. And so they, they're, they're very much, you know, every ship has to be able to project power. Now, these two ships here, um, this is this is a fire support destroyer. It's designed to support fleets, right? It's not. It doesn't just fly around on its own. Uh, typically, this is a short range craft. It has a jump drive, um, but it only has a crew of like three. The the cockpits didn't make it in for some reason, um, but it uh, it doesn't have much crew. It it just it just it's basically like a patrol craft like a torpedo boat almost. It's a Corvette. Uh, it is capable of interstellar flight and has long range, but it you don't want to spend a lot of time on one. Um, okay. For a cruiser, are you looking for a light cruiser, heavily armed, but lightly armored? So I just want a cruiser. I'm, I, the whole light and heavy cruiser distinctions came around from the Washington Naval Treaty, which has not been a thing for centuries <laughs> in this universe so um i other than other than you know con command and control uh long duration um the union typically uses uh uh so in in lore these aren't chemical engines they're fusion thrusters the the hydrogen engines are fusion thrusters um, but they will occasionally use the higher efficiency ones like you see on board this guy 
if it's something that needs to go a long way and not able to carry a lot of reaction mass, um, then they'll use the ion engines, uh, which are also technically more advanced. They're more efficient, but navies like their redundancy and their brute force. So they often go for uh, they often go for acceleration ability over efficiency. Uh, Godzilla lover, no, no fighter bays. They're not really a thing in Deadly Salvage. Uh, here's the thing. So th this is this is my this is a I love science fiction and I love uh, I love things like Star Furies and X Wings and Vipers, but they make absolutely no sense in a space combat scenario. The reason fighters uh, aircraft make sense uh, it's an over the horizon ability to attack something, right? You you can go over there and attack the enemy over there. There's nothing to hide behind in space. I mean, yes, you could hide behind a planet or something, but every, all your targets are gonna be mobile as well. And a, a larger ship is able to carry more fuel, more weaponry and absorb more damage. It basically better in every way other than, you know, oh, well, a fighter could be more maneuverable, except that any weapon that can intercept a fighter is going to be far more maneuverable than a fighter and you're better just able to take the hit or carry more point defense rather than try to evade it or do some fancy flying. And something as small as a fighter is not going to be able to do significant damage to a big ship. It's like, oh yay, uh, I've bombed it. I, I hit it with my rocket ship or my rocket and it, now it's still alive. Um, which is, we saw that, you see that in World War II when, uh, when you know, as much as I like to make fun of Yamato getting bombed into smithereens by a bunch of carrier aircraft, it took a bunch of carrier aircraft. Like, they bombed and torpedoed that thing like it was going out of style, and it still took hours and hours to sink the ship. Exactly, Narof. It's a combination of naval and submarine warfare. Um... Fog with with the broadside and all that. It doesn't matter what the weapon mounts are. Uh, a lot of Union ships have a front towards enemy uh, concept, which is you know your guns are at the front and they're pointing towards the bad guy because that's just how you present the narrowest profile. Um, except with this ship, which was designed to fight on a broadside on a specific broadside, because on the other side, it is not armored. It's, just, it's a space uh, weight saving measure. Um, so it fires off that way. It points the side towards the enemy. On fire hey. right again. Yes, okay. Well, what's up? Uh, there's a red platform filled with weapons floating in space. Uh, yes. If you can look at them and tell me which, uh, if you'd prefer the light or the dark green turrets more for main armaments, uh, let me know. Um, hmm. and Clunk would put it on the dark side. What is this? This is. Is this a flak cannon here? Or is this just. Yeah, a... that's technically a flak gun. Okay. But it looks like a main gun to it me. It does look so like that's... a main gun, yeah. Um, and that's something else to remember when we're building this ship. It is a prop, and it is unlikely at this point that we're going to be going inside of it at all. Um, it will get into an episode, but uh, it is unlikely. I like, I do like these this big chonky railgun, the Hofund. I'm a big fan of that. I, I kind of like both of them. Um, it, I think it's really going to depend on the look of the ship. Uh, we do okay. see guns that are in the general Hofund style, and I'm actually considering... Uh, using the Hofun to replace some of the old, outdated weapon mod guns on Unity. Um, gotcha. So that would bring some consistency throughout the uh, the universe there. Yeah, uh, the BSG reimagined mod would be a pretty good one. The problem with those is the they're very much BSG and they're huge and it's too big for these ships. The other one of the reasons that the deadly salvage ships are so quote small, um, I, I feel like it, they're actually more realistic sizes for warships, 
maybe a little on the small side but like i don't know like even these smaller ones are still like 150 meters long and unity's i think like let's see i go check real quick she's she's pretty long she's like 200 some meters long yeah she's uh almost 300 meters long that's a, that's a lot of ship that's a lot of ship um and anything big and powerful like that is hard to build and hard to crew. That's the other thing. Uh, these ships don't take tons and tons and tons of crew. It is the future, after all. Um, so you don't need... No, lore-wise, like, Unity might carry a couple hundred people. Uh, a malediction above it carries it's a crew of about 50. Um, and it gets smaller from there. The, the uh, big troop transports carry a lot more, or the assault ships carry a lot more, but that's because what they carry, their their payload, their weapon system is their troops, so. Uh, do you want some sort of big spinal cannon on these? Uh, I know you said front towards the enemy. But... Um, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be. Um, I am, I am open. We've, we see we see a lot of that already. We see uh, that that is a, a philosophy on... So this assault ship does normally have three railguns on the front. Uh, railguns are just really efficient weapon systems in space. You know, just speedy thing, go smack into the other thing and make big crashy mess of other thing. Uh, projectile weapons are very, very, very efficient ways of imparting destructive energy upon your target gotcha <laughs> fog i hope your gaming rig comes back online soon um i think uh the other thing is there would be a reasonably uh capable defense grid on something like a cruiser because it's designed to be going unsupported it doesn't it's not going to have a fleet with it to share uh point defense with um what i can do let me get a block out and let me select the the union white their ships are all white because i am obsessed with the great white fleet that's basically the only reason all their ships are white see how long is this that'd be about a hundred twenty meters I don't know so um, originally I was gonna have like a bunch of teams kind of build together or build each other but I'm kind of over that we've only got a few people in here and so I'm okay with like a collaborative build. What do we got going on down here? I see, uh... Ooh. Oh, a mixed thrust package. Interesting, BD. Yeah. I'm trying to take some stylistic cues. Uh, you know, smaller ones predominantly ion, larger ones a mix. Yeah. <laughs> Nerf, no, there's no plans in Deadly Salvage to have one of the faction combine railgun and jump right attack to accelerate projectiles at relative speeds. <laughs> no, there isn't. Okay. Um, because when I built Unity, she looked cool. And that's why. the Originally, the stripes and everything... On here, we're supposed to denote, like, units and fleets and stuff that they belong to or places where they were built. Like, here, this is, uh... <sighs> Clunk, I can't remember when we made the flag. Was it Proxima Centauri, I think, was the other colony? It was Mars and oh. Proxima Centauri. So, wait, I have the Union flag on here. I'll show yeah, you. Yeah, Mars, Earth, and Proxima. Yeah. So, that's what this... This is the, this is the flag, right? So, um, each stripe represents a planet. Red is Mars, blue is Earth, and uh, the tan is Proxima Centauri. Uh, that's the that's the Union, 
the Union of Federated Planets flag, which I threw out as a joke and kind of regret the rest of the name, which is why I always call it the Union. But that's what you get when you have something that gets popular. <laughs> well, popular, quotation marks. Popular compared to, like, what I ever thought it was going to be. Also, hello, That is Nab. true. Hi. Yeah, it started as just kind of like, oh, let's just throw all of these sci-fi references in this funny little thing we're doing. And, oh, oh. <laughs> Good night, Scarlet. Thanks for stopping by. Of so, didn't it? All right, so... I, I do think it's interesting that both Clonk and BD have gone for, you guys have both gone for kind of a mixed armament, or sorry, mixed uh, thrust package. I, I think what you said about the whole, like, long range thrust. Yeah. Cruise speed versus, um, versus actually. Well, um, efficient acceleration versus gotta go fast right now. Yeah. Um, yeah that's how most of my uh, ship designs are, is both hydrogen and ion. Mm-hmm. I have a frightening obsession with pure hydrogen ships. A lot of my ships are, are hydrogen and nothing else. Um, I, I will say that I, I do adore the back end of BD's ship here. The, the ring. This is very, this is very uh, unity, what you've done here. And I know you're taking the design cues, but it, you're, you're pulling it off, and I'm enjoying it. Thank you. Yeah, ions also make good maneuvering thrusters when you're trying to, like, dock or get yeah. close to something without yeah. running right into it. Yeah, well, it depends on the size of your ship, right? You can have, like, three or four ion thrusters in every direction for that, or you can have a single hydrogen thruster. Um, ah, man. I'm so glad I don't have to design these ships to be realistic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad. It would be so much more difficult. Kind of cool, though. Nerf says he does uh, he does hydrogen with uh, gravitic drives for space. He takes the efficiency thing to heart, which that's a fair point, but uh, grav drives aren't a thing in Dudley Salvage, unfortunately. Build them, build them proper Scarlet scale, says Scarlet. <laughs> so I guess we've got we've got a fleet of escape pods here for Scarlet. Yeah, I don't think we're trying to start fires in DE's living room or office. Office, but yeah. And uh, don't the uh, the box that you've made you don't have that doesn't have to be a hard limit for your size. It can be a little bigger than that if it if it makes sense. Oh, yeah. starting fires! I'm gonna go get the laundry. I'll oh, there that. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> See, your comment may have prevented one. Indeed. Um. I guess I should probably build something too. Um, There's no need for escape pods, Nerf. The entire ship is escape pod. Either it escapes or it doesn't. Let's see. If I were the manufacturer of the Apex, what would I do to make a ship? It was like it, but different. But with shield technology. I'm using DE Blasphemy and using symmetry mode. Shame, shame, shame. It's okay. I've made my ship four-way symmetrical. Oh, I'll I'll get rid of the symmetry mode quite quickly. I'm sure. I'm just I'm doing like initial rough planning at this point. Is the ring a common trend for the latest generation new ship? So the ring here, this is uh, just a protective ring for the. This is engineering and fuel in here, and you can actually see that there's openings and walkways for people to service inside Unity here. Um, so that's all. So this is like spaced armor to kind of protect against that um, getting hit. Also, uh, rule of cool, man. Rule of cool. 
So what you're saying is, is the ships were designed by Beyonce's like great 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 grandchildren? Yes, yes. They they liked it, so they put a ring on it. <laughs> and Nerf says, we need to take inspiration from the A-10. The first block must be the big shooty, then we make it fly. Huh. Mm. I guess I'll build from the back forward this time. Though... Wait a sec. I think I built this thing sideways. It's it's possible. I mean, there's no up in space, and the enemy's gauge is down. I, I just I turned sideways, and I looked at it, and it's like, is this better like this? <laughs> Make a look at yours. I haven't taken a close look at yours in a little bit. Oh, so scary. We, <laughs> we already have a uh, verdict. Yeah, I think Engine. I think I'm gonna actually heavily modify this. I mean, the name of the game is Space Engineers, right? Yeah, I just I need to figure out how I'm gonna do this now. Um, so, fog. I think the the engine bay of the Hyperion from Babylon Five is the only good part about the Hyperion from Babylon Five. I don't understand why people like that ship. It is not a ship that I enjoy, um, and I know that's gonna be blasphemy to some people, but. It's it's how I feel. It does make sense that a uh, little crane, um, thing crane style look between the uh, main compartment and the engine is weird. Yeah, especially on a warship. There we go. That looks like a that's gonna turn into a sexy thruster pack there. I have to make sure that I do this in such a way that it's easy to greeble because I get carried away with my greebles. So for an example, like. Sorcerer took me, I think, a week to build the first time. The Apex uh, took me, I think, two days, because it's it's really simple. I'll show you. It, this is very much a prop ship. Um, you go inside, and there is just nothing. <laughs> I was I started an interior, and I was like, forget it. And I didn't finish an interior. Um, oh, one of the common things that you'll see on a lot of the smaller or very large ships um actually everything except the, the the assault ship because that wasn't designed specifically for deadly salvage is they've got the merge block airlocks um as their docking ports so you can see them on the side of unity unity's got like a universal one where it's got the it's got locks in all directions but um other ships would only have might only have them in one or two directions Uh, Fog, the Omega class is the coolest ship from Babylon 5. Fight me. I don't know. I do like the, what's it, the Jaquan class. You know, those are good. The, uh, the Narn have a really good, uh, design aesthetic to them. But there's just something about the, the Omega's just, I'm here, I'm a chunk of armor, and they put a big bunch of guns on me. And I just do not care. Get out of my way or I'm going to smash through you. Star Fury Omega. Oh, uh, Star Fury's cool. I, I like the Omega more. The Nova looks like someone took an Omega and went, I'm going to build this like I'm a 14 year old with space engineers and just pasted guns all over it. That's what it looks like to me. But it's not, it doesn't have that many. Uh, compared to compared to its hull surface area, it's mostly gun. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna build cowlings around. So what here. you're saying is, somebody in SD built the Nova. You took it, stripped off a few guns, and then added in a spinny bit to make the Omega. Well, except I'm pretty sure the Omega was designed first. Nah, they were second. I'm talking about uh, artistically. Uh, um, that's possible, yeah. I think I I think it was designed second. Need 
two of these. And and everyone, please remember, light armor is totally fine to build with because, uh, I mean, I'm I'm not a I'm not an insane person. Um, you can put heavy armor in places that you think might get shot. That would make sense, but uh, this ship is designed post shields, so they're going to probably leverage that and rely on their shields as their defense, which may or may not bite them in the end. Uh, Godzilla level lover, are you in the Discord? So very much a throw it against the wall and see if it looks good. Builder. Same. That's that's why I ended up chopping my ship up, building it sideways with it extra wide. Because I I looked at it and was like, wait a second, this is wrong. This isn't cool. Let's see. Uh, well, Godzilla Lover, if you're in the Discord, if you join Waiting for a Crew, I will drag you down into the uh into the thing just keep in mind i don't believe i've i've had you in on any of these before just keep in mind that we do have we do have uh the same standards on our live streams as we do with our uh the discord rules themselves so it's the only thing to remember oh it's zephram i have streamed with you before i just did not recognize you Hello. 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 Um. Uh, I can't believe this is happening to me. Uh. It, it's it's fine. Don't freak out. We're just people playing the game together. Yeah. Um. I've also been that guy who who's been in the uh, posting pictures of attempting the FNS sorcerer. Yeah. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah, and that was. I've been doing that for a while. I've done recreations from time to time i try to do my best yeah uh, but, that, that's totally cool um so our i think i'm friends with you because i yeah. was in i was in one event yeah i think you were with the uh the pvp event when the when yeah we were Spectrum. trying out the new uh, uranium based yeah uh, space map. engineers was pretending to be a first person shooter which it's not very much not a first person shooter uh, let's see if I go here. I'm gonna try the BD style and build a box, and take my hull from the box, and then get rid of my central spine. Most of my ships start with a literally just a central spine down the middle, and then I build everything off of that. I'm gonna try this this volumetric building thing. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Yes. Okay. Uh, how was your guys' day today? It's good. I uh, I worked and built planes today and had to take an hour nap because I was so tired. <laughs> I I came yeah. home and uh, so we have our our next week's wedded not deaded episode. Uh, Nab's OBS crashed and oh, we no. haven't been we haven't been uh, recording an MKV because we're silly people but also because I just, I'm too lazy to convert it. And so we lost that footage and I had a total brain fart and didn't turn on my voice recording. So we have my footage, none of my voice and Nab's voice from, from and none of my footage and none of her footage. And so she edited everything together because Nab does all the wedded, not deaded because she's amazing. Um, and then we actually i don't need to breathe the inside it's just a set piece um huh. and then it turned out that uh and i had to go well i didn't do all of it but i went in and i put started recording voices which she's had to do before um and she did a great job at it i'm doing less of a great job at it because it's it's hard and i don't like hard things because i'm really lazy mm-hmm 
Yeah, I just actually got back from my job two hours ago. Cool. Closing that. Uh, it's one of my first, uh, one of my uh, second time closing down the store for me. So, Scarlet, I don't know. I don't like recap episodes. I don't know about you. With uh, when I watch science fiction, and they go recap episode. I'm like, oh, looks like they burned through all the budget this month, and it just feels cheap and silly. Yep. Okay, so, so I just spawn here, I guess. Yeah, just spawn ah, wherever. Join the. Uh, join the faction yep, already did. oh yep. i think i'm on the uh merlin or is this sorcerer uh, well i mean they're identical so yes yeah they are um yep. uh oh some of your mods are missing on yep. the uh, yep. mer on the merlin yep 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 yep, yep. for oh. us i think with deadly salvage because each of the episodes you know none of them are well there's like one that's longer than 25 minutes long yeah we've got like one half hour episode i think yeah i i feel like because it's pretty short overall the idea of a recap is just because it's been going on for like two years two or three years yeah. and so people don't want to rewatch it which is fine like i get that but i it's How not dare they? it's not worth making a How recap episode. dare they not want to oh, sorry <laughs> um let's yeah. see well, you know what? Everyone's talking about the Nova. So I'll give this uh, like a big hammerhead on the front. Uh, D. Yes. I do have a uh, thruster design question. Okay. Uh, do you uh, prefer open or closed? Like you know, having the thrusters covered up and protected or just open out in the open? I mean, yes. Uh, like, so my favorite thruster pack right now is uh, probably Unity's. Yeah, I can see that. It's a, um, it's a, it is amazing. I, I like Sorcerers as well. Sorcerer, actually, I made I, this thruster pack is off of a different ship that I made in a survival world, and I just I just prettied it up. But I like yes. I like thruster packs like that. Um, I'm not averse to having something tucked way back and uh, protected. That's uh, not a problem for yeah. me. It's just like, um, can I do an example? Uh, I mean, this is a build world, man. Build away. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm super nervous. Don't. Don't be. Okay. So here's something that I've learned over the years, because um, I'm such a big streamer. Um, <laughs> I felt. I felt much as you do now. The first time wasted space invited me to stream, uh, play in one of his streams. We played. Uh, what was it? Sea of Thieves. And I was. I even had. I even have Sea. I was. I was uh, yeah. squeeing much like you did when you came into the channel, but internally, not externally. Um, and uh, after playing with him, and I, I think it was Clockwork and somebody else. I can't remember who else. Maybe might have been Mac. I don't remember. I have the recording somewhere because I was squeezing. I don't think it was Mac. I think it was Tex. Was it Tex? It might have been Tex. I don't know. Um, oh. Anyway, so uh, I played with them. And uh, after, after about 15, 20 minutes, it was just, we're just dude's playing a game well nab's not a dude but she's also not yeah. playing a game so i'm not i'm not she's yeah. folding laundry yes, yeah I, I also i also got um sea of thieves because uh from watching you for a little while oh D, that's cool and watching a lot of other people too uh yeah nab is much better at sea of thieves than i am yeah i saw that <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah. uh, I do have to say the um, uh -huh. the things I love about your ship is your the, some of the unique designs you give to it, like the ribbing, like how the FNS Sorcerer here has the ribs here for this like downward platform here. Yeah, I that's, I just I like ribbing. Uh, that's one hundred percent inspired by Battlestar Galactica designs. Oh yeah, like Battlestar Galactica. The, the ribbing um, is just so good. Uh, I'm I'm a re uh, remake person, not the original. My dad's the original. Fair enough. Yeah, it's I'm mostly gonna... because it looked a lot more appealing, and I also have the game the uh, the game that they made oh, uh, based yeah. on the remake. Deadlock. Oh, it's so fun, so fun. I have it. I have yet to play it. Uh, it's I would it's definitely recommendable. It's um, the feeling of it is really nice. Gameplay is really good. Just to be able to use the like actual legitimacy of space, like up is down, down. When you move, you can move your 
ship up and down, get at different elevations. Like um, the Manticore of the the main, which is your main like Corvette that you use all the time. That ship relies. You have to make sure he's uh, above your enemy because he has a lower deck gun. He has no above deck guns. Right. Yeah. The, uh, it's cool when when ships make you or when games make you take those into consideration and stuff Indeed. like that is also things to, to think about when designing ships and space engineers and stuff right so yeah um i am i don't know what i'm doing but i'm digging it i'm making like this yeah. hammerhead what it reminds me so far is have you played homeworld at all have you seen homeworld <laughs> have you played homeworld wow uh Dre, you want to take if... this one have i played homeworld before <laughs> yes, I don't, totally. I don't know. If, I don't know if I ever saw Homeworld. I don't know if I ever saw it's you. Not, play it's not on the YouTube channel. I usually channel. that's something uh, we did. We did do a brief. Uh, Nabarine tries to play Homeworld. She it didn't. It didn't stick. She didn't oh, enjoy yeah. it very much. Um, it's not that she didn't get it or anything. It just. It just didn't. It didn't resonate with her. Which mm -hmm. made, which it's made, got. A, it's the feeling you have to get from I playing it. I don't like real time strategy. It's just uh, not my thing. Yeah, it's. Uh, just one of those things, which is which is sad, but at least she plays space yeah. engineers. Anything, anyways. Um, what I'm what I'm getting at is that this ship kind of reminds me of those like those Nebulon worshippers or whatever. Those guys who have those rounded ships in the that they were trapped in that nebula for in oh, the first game. Um, yeah, the ones I that can't like, remember. The ones that like in the scrapyard, right? I don't know if scrapyard is the word. Um, I don't remember what it was called. They, they, always, they were always those one annoying units where they jump in and fight you and then jump out. I don't remember. They used a lot of drones is what I remember. Yeah, I, I think I know what you're talking about. But yeah, um, yeah. no. Uh, I haven't completed we, one we of play, those. We play most. Homeworld quasi regularly. I actually played with Kander and Jared the other day. Homeworld yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah. I think Desert Sakara is I what I love is I love it too because I'm more or less um I'm a marine boy. I like I like ground forces and everything. Alright, well I mean there there are there are definitely Marines in the uh in the uh in the Discord who will probably agree with you with that. Yes, and um I'm most so me and my family we are big um we're big historians and stuff, so we have books upon books of old old uh, old wars, ships, navy stuff, air forces. My dad's a big air force guy. Uh, he unfortunately <laughs> he was going to be a pilot, but uh, um, for, um, things happened and he couldn't become one. That happens. Oh, I forgot yeah. to put on the thing. Uh, could I okay. uh, could I recommend something to you? Go ahead. Um. Where can I find it? That 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 that. Nope, 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 nope. Yeet. Uh, oop. Uh, what's there? Ah, yeah, that's what I was going to go for. Okay. Thanks for the that's recommendation. Gonna... Yeah, sorry. I think you. <laughs> it's think okay. You, were you already beating? You've already beaten to it. I was. I was. Uh, I was just about to do something like that. I'm actually going to see yeah. what these look like. I really fire. like the new passenger corridors. Have you ever think of replacing Nike's um, passenger passenger mod with the new Nike, corridors? Nike no more. Yeah, well, um, oh, ah, I was right in front of it. I'm oh, sorry. I'm just seeing what they look like when they fire. Oh, yeah. They, I really like, uh, was that what Nike had on its yes. front bridge park? Okay, I I figured. I think I like there was that. One, there was one other ship that... I was trying to remember that had one of those. That was one of your designs, but I don't remember what it was. I, I have very bad memory. As long as it wasn't Artemis. Yes. Uh, <laughs> not Artemis, no. Okay. Yeah. Um, I actually had a... Um, I actually was able to successfully recreate Artemis a couple times. My With my own... Like, with help, of course. I had a friend help me, but I... I don't know what he's doing nowadays with, with what he what he builds. So, he helped. So he helped me get the base. Hmm. I am I am in no way uh, mocking you or making fun of you. I'm just gonna let you know it is okay to stop talking for a second. 
Sorry. <laughs> when it, when when a topic when a topic starts, it happens. Yeah. No. No. I I get that. I just I'm just letting you know. It's totally okay to just to let there be chill. dead air for a bit. It's yeah. okay. It, it's yeah. it's okay. It's we very nervous. common. It's there's, very there's common. my nervousness uh, yes. coming out right there. We appreciate you, yeah. and we appreciate that you want to talk to us and be here. And we and we appreciate that you're you're so excited. I like I yes. I love the excitement. I love it. Um, yeah, you've I'm, I'm trying... probably met the most chipper person. You've probably just met the most chipper person in the world. Okay. <laughs> um, I just, I just you know, like I, like I was saying, talking about when I when I should be the wasted. You know, we're we're all just playing a game together. There's there's nothing there's nothing different about this. There are people watching, um, oh, but there's okay. nothing <laughs> but there's nothing different about this other than yep. just playing the game with some friends, right? So yeah. just just think of it like that and i think it'll it'll be easier to just yeah. you know, take that breath for a second i'm trying to decide though <laughs> um like i mm. like these mark one batteries mm -hmm. uh, i'm trying to decide if i want <laughs> four more of them or two more of them i don't know because i'm i'm going with the uh the the, the big duck uh shooty forward again Daka, well, daka, daka. maybe you can go over and look at what other people are building I'm going to. and take a break. Because I do think it's kind of funny that you're like, okay, I need help building I a, know, a thing, and now here you are. Building a thing. <laughs> building it's Space thing. Engineers. It's, oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. It looks so good. It's got a good-looking butt, BD. I like it. Thank you. What is this? Oh, that is clever with the, uh, the half-block things there. That is real clever. I haven't, huh? I haven't seen that before. I had noticed that you'd done something, and then I didn't look closely at it. Okay, let's go fly over to the... Oh, there's a there's a ring of thrusters around a main thruster now. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, I built the side skirts and then realized I had to pull all the thrusters in a little, so... Oh, you took, nothing the, in there uh, you took the kind of flight deck style of the assault ship uh maybe i just i i i realized if i flipped it sideways i could stick a cockpit in there and i did yeah fog yeah i totally get it man it's just uh it's uh it's it's one of those things you know and and again, Zephram, I hope I hope you don't feel like I was I was telling you. To nope, be nope, quiet nope. That's whatever. very I much just, what just, I was expecting. I just, I, when so, when the topic starts, the chatter starts, and when I'm yeah. especially when I'm nervous. Yep. No worries, man. All right. Well, I've got something. I've been. I've got an idea of what I've been working on here. Okay. Let me find you. I should be in front, like in between the um, apex oh, you. and your new ship you're building. Yeah, I see. Yep. You. I'm right here. These, uh, what have we got? Thruster packs. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's kind of, uh, it's hard to see where the ship's going to go from here, but I mean, I, yeah, I, I like, yeah. I like the, I, I, I usually, I, I usually build upon stuff as I go. I'm not much of a frame starter, dude. Yeah. Hey, Calgar. How's it going, man? Da, 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 da. <laughs> All right. Um, I just cut off the butt of my ship and paste the front of it on BD ship. <laughs> hey, go for it. Looks so good. I mean, we got time. Um, so, like, I, I, I don't know if all the designs will make it in, it might just be one. So if if none of the designs show up or if a modified version of the design shows up, I hope nobody feels upset that I didn't use everything from, from the no, stream. It's, it's just, uh, it's going to be whatever fits the aesthetic the best, what, what, what looks good on screen, right? This is, these are, these are flying greebles right now. Most, I, I most. That's what I mostly have trouble with when designing ships is um, greebling. It's uh, it takes time to figure it out, and it's it's yeah. really it's really very much put things up, 
and see what works. Like I said, with, with Unity, this ship took me, I think, four months to build, something like that. I uh, actually had a... Oops, sorry. And it's not... It wasn't... It wasn't the the concept. Like, the concept of the ship, big, giant, go-die-in-a-fire laser in the nose, and then just covered in, in relatively high-caliber weapons everywhere else. Like, that concept was just there, and then I just started greebling and i was like i need something on the sides i need something on the you know on the stern i need to make it look a little different and the greebles probably took two months on them on, by themselves um, just to get all the greebles on there and get well, me happy with them one of my few ships that i actually um built that's actually on my own uh thing took me at least six months to build yeah it can take a long time. I did most of that when I was in my um, sort of college. It's similar I, to I, college, but it's not I, college. I went to sort of college for a while. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, what am I looking for? Right, uh, Does the Atlas Super Laser in Unity still work? Um, so I have someone who has made a modded, a different a weapon core version of it. The, it's not in this world so the the chamber she is empty uh wait the r the arnie um rx scene irene irene weapons mod rx rx um it has two different uh atlases yeah uh, uh you don't use those though Oh wait, uh, are they both giant? Because they were both giant at one point. Uh, there was a Mark One, and then there's a Mark Five. They're like towards oh. the bottom row. Oh yeah, the Mark One's the one that was in there. Yeah, the Mark One's the one you used. I have not tested the Mark Five yet. I've tested this mod out a couple times. To see what weapon, which laser weapons would fit for um, a Formic ship or a. Um, a uh not formic for a um awaken ship yeah the uh the awaken ships definitely have the the pew pew i use the directed energy weapons mod for that i love that i love that mod and shout out to clockwork for helping me with that it was before episode five came out and i just i sent him a message like hey man is there any way you can help me with they, they, something with that mod was causing some one some of the weapon core mods to not function properly? And he's like, "Well, you know, I was thinking about doing a weapon core uh, weapon core refresh anyway." And so he just whipped one out in like a day or two and said, "Hey, is, is it there on the workshop or yeah. is it private?" Yeah, no, he's the the directed energy weapons mod is uh, the weapon core version is up there. It is not balanced at all it is super op but it, it's because i still have the old one actually yeah the weapon core one works um and the, the, the old one actually are... still works yes it works it's... i haven't seen problems with it when i test the mods it, out it does it does funny things sometimes uh, I guess I'll be visited by Clang. Rest in, uh, I'll see you guys in the afterlife. Where Clang <laughs> Probably. Yeah, so I think we need... uh, you don't want anything that might cause Clang on these ships, right? I mean, if you're talking about subgrids, yeah, please leave the subgrids out of it if you can. Um, Got it. Clang is mostly tamed. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's I, I never believe that. I never trust that. You know, people say that they don't trust that but it's i have not seen clang unless i'm doing something silly like putting 100 pistons on the front of my ship and then accelerating to 140 meters per second but that's my own fault mm -hmm. oh. so chat um question for you so Right now, we're all kind of bit, we're playing space engineers together, but separately. Um, and this is something I try to avoid, usually. Uh, but I find that it's more conducive to conversations. So, like, would you like to see more streams kind of like this? Because we're still working on doing something to replace Rival Survival, Rival Revival, Rival whatever we call it. 
Um, but we're we're not there yet, and it's it's going to be a while. And I think a lot of the people who played with us are kind of bored of Space Engineers, um, which I totally get. It's an old game, and it gets frustrating, and it doesn't. It anytime it gets better, it seems to then get broken again. And Nab doesn't like it very much. And Nab doesn't like it very much at all. <laughs> so, um, would you like to see streams like this? Is there another game you'd like to see played on the channel? We do do our uh, uh, our Jackbox stuff, and uh, that's a that's a lot of fun for us, and we love playing in the community. But I notice that people don't usually come out for those, so I don't know. I don't know what to. Uh, what to do? You know? Aliens fire team. Oh yeah, that's been that's been um uh, uh, early access to now. I've heard about it. I don't know. <laughs> Ender for- Ender Wigan says Battle Chef Brigade. What's that? Oh my god. That gave us fun to watch actually. It is, and we need to do, we need to finish uh, it. <laughs> so we don't um, no, we don't. <laughs> so um, way in the before times, way back, like in the earliest times of our channel, we did something for our Tuesday videos that were that was called um, Steam Code Roulette, where we got Steam codes. Ender was a huge proponent of this because he would send us Steam codes, <laughs> and um, we would play the game and and make a video and we came across one called battle chef brigade and it is an anime style video game where they cook monsters (laughs) it's it's a puzzle game and i know that game yeah and i think it's hilarious and it's funny and it's it's campy and it's ridiculous but it's actually a a good puzzle game um and we, I think we have three episodes of Battle Chef Brigade. Yeah. <laughs> because because there was one time where DE was sick, and I was like, well, I guess I'll play this game. Um, and then my sister Na had a baby, and I was and she she really liked our videos of that game, and so I did another one of it. But I think that's it. I think we only have three. Yeah. Oh, is there four? Ender says there are four. So D, here's here's how you make this less painful. You play that for Nab, and then Nab has to finish Kerbal Space Program for you. Uh, for me or for you? I mean both. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Nab plays Kerbal Space Program videos are cringy, but <laughs> that's just me. Uh, he just likes to watch you struggle, Nab. That's right. I think there are a lot of videos that people just don't know about because they come for Deadly Salvage and then when it's not Deadly Salvage, they don't watch. Unless it's Wedded Not Deaded, which kind of took on its own life, which I am appreciative of. Mm -hmm. I actually um, downloaded one of your guys' survival maps and tried surviving it. Oh, how'd how'd that that? go? It's still going. That's, um, I'm in space with your, um, I call it the White Christmas Tree? Uh, oh, you're talking about uh, Take Two? I think. Uh, I loved that ship, and then it died, and that was a salty, salty episode. Yeah. I'm still catching up on those streams, too. I'm still, I, I do not I, blame I'm anyone still... for not catching up on those streams, by the way, because there are so many of them. Yeah. I'm just I'm just biding my time until I get to the juicy part where you guys um, play with... Um, uh, um uh, uh <laughs> mind drifting um, <laughs> this is a thing for me we play with somebody apparently no, I, uh ships certain oh, ships oh a thing I'll, okay um, uh oh the, the awoken awoken ships when you start um doing the formic war if i'm saying if i'm pronouncing so, the title so it wouldn't it wouldn't be awoken because awoken is deadly salvage but yeah we when we started playing with the formix that is um the solenopsis yes the solenopsis and the uh those all of those ships would be in the final episodes of season one 
Yes. And then all throughout season two. That was so much fun. That that little that little I think was it BB's kind of idea and he just yeah. ran with it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was so fun. And then BB and Scarlet just went nuts and then Clonk, of course, best bad guy. I think the um first stream I actually was able to watch like when you guys actually live streamed it was when you guys were building um your super dreadnought ship we've had a few of those so oh no no he's uh, talking about uh grin reaper i think I think it's that it had i think and we were building the, it for like eight streams <laughs> i think it had um the yellow directed energy weapon uh, or the one orange colored one? Yes, yeah. It was uh yeah, that was that was Grin Reaper for sure. Um Wigan, I do remember how you came. You came from Splitsy's Discord. And you uh messaged me and asked me if I had a had a public Discord. And at the time I didn't. I had the Discord I have was active and we had people in it, but I was like, oh, I'll just start throwing this on and then I, we made some rules. I was in I was actually at my my in-laws house when you message me um and so then the discord started and then and then the rest of it continued like forever and ever and it's it's been fun it sounds like there are a couple of people who are interested in mech warrior mech warrior on the channel yeah narif mentioned uh baby tech which i think the boys would probably enjoy oh they'd be down yeah uh Particularly when you are on leave, I think that would be fun to record some of that. Or just stream it. It's easy enough to stream. Yeah, but then it's not. I will. I don't care if it's easy to watch. It's so hard to edit. But you never edit them, so it doesn't matter. Oh, no, I never edited any baby tech, did I? No, not (laughs) one baby tech. Did Did I edit any of those? some of those. (laughs) Not some of them. I did all of them. I I helped with those. You helped with one i think all the baby tech videos Uh, are mostly me okay hmm get the (laughs) where is this oh this over here uh uh b yes or not d um bb is he here no he's not he hasn't uh, been. Uh, he's he's a busy busy man these days, so he hasn't been streaming here. with us oh, for a DB's while. Here. BD, BD, Bravo, yes. Delta. Yeah, what's up? Uh, you uh, you're the one who has making the ship in the yellow box, right? Correct. Uh, could I get some input on something I'm designing? I'm right sure. behind you. Uh. We got a few uh, samples here. Nerif, absolutely not. So My children are never going anywhere there, near cyberpunk. Uh, one. The one and I know exactly the giant poop-eating grin you've work. got on your face when you suggest that. Wigan is kind of the cause for the Discord server. It would have happened eventually, but I think Wigan was the first one that was just like, yeah, let's go. Because I think uh, Scarlet and BB, maybe not BB at that point. No. It was Scarlet and Eisen. Eisen was there. Um, Jure was later than that, I think, because Jure was like 2019, I think, is when Jure joined the Discord. Yeah, about then. Yeah, because we pulled you in for that railgun battle and then. Couldn't get rid of you. That was fun. That was a fun video. Uh, uh, what do you think, BD? BD. I think this one in the middle has promise, but might be a little chunky around the thrusters. Yeah, I try to make sure they don't get killed mostly. Yeah, we're going for looks, not not survivability. Oh no. Um. Let's see. No fog. We would not. Hmm, let me think. <laughs> yeah, so uh Fog, MMOs and I have a have a history, and that history is horrible. Um 
MMOs and I don't get along. Uh, I played EVE Online for many moons and never again. I have a job. I have a hobby. I don't need another hobby that is a job. That's how I feel about MMOs. Like, I could feel when, when Wasted really got into, like, the foxhole stuff, I had this, like, moment where I was like, I'm kind of tempted to play this. And I was like, no, never. I will never do this. I have a family and they love me. And they don't want me to leave them. <laughs> I mean, great thing about foxholes, you don't have to sink that much time into it, though. Yeah, I know, but I, I, I obsess over games. So... I, I get no, sucked you in. don't do that. No, Those not 2600 hours you have in SE don't show nothing like that. Uh, so, well, SE is a kind of a special case. It's not just that I really enjoy it. I do enjoy it. Um, but it's also, I mean, Deadly Salvage <laughs> is is the cause for at least a thousand of those hours. And then this channel is more like, I probably would have stopped playing Space Engineers a long time ago if the channel wasn't a thing. Because it, like, the people they want. They want the SE. They do. It's it's a thing. Huh. I got Space Engineers back in 20, uh, 2018. Way back when. Oh, that, it, yeah. I think I bought it in 2014, late 2014. Yes. Was it still going through the, um, the uh, texture update to get to what it is now? I bought it when it was still DirectX 11. Oh my. I mean, is it still DirectX 11? Or sorry, DirectX 9. 9. Sorry. That's what I meant to say. I meant to say D. Yes. I finally went asymmetrical. Ooh, I have to come look. I'm proud of you, Clunk. I just have to find it now. Yeah, I painted it white, which oh, makes it blend in with literally everything. There we go. Well, I'm also on the uh, I'm also on the shadowed side of it, so it's it's literally uh, just black on black. Yeah. Okay. That's a DACA. Holy cow! I like the little gun shields behind him. That's kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I was. It looked it looked bad with like just empty space behind them, so I, mm. I threw them there. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not really happy with these side skirts. I, I want to fix them, but I haven't figured that one out yet. So, um, have you have you spoken with our Lord and Savior Ribbing? Yeah, but more like I want I want to give him a curve, but haven't figured that part out. I try to add, I try to add some ribbing onto what I'm doing here. I mean, you, you could you could cut off uh, the side skirts off the apex and just paste two of those on one on either side. <laughs> Go full Star Trek with it and just turn it into a kit bash. Uh, you can't see it, but I'm frowning at you. Held. Okay, I need to. First things first, I need to add more support to these side skirts because apparently they're they're held on to hey, the Charlie main body by a single block. Uh, hey D, that's a I lot of hours. A question more wise. Uh, yes, go ahead. So, would the industrial um, hydrogen tanks, the one that just came out for that new DLC, would that make sense in your Oh, in yeah, your world, totally or? fine. Throw them in. Okay, because I'm thinking of trying to add this. And I'm wondering if it will look good. Do a conveyor there. Another there. Hmm.
Man, I am building a chunky brick. I mean, I feel like that's what most ships will end up being if you want to build them efficiently, you know? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, that's where this hammerhead's coming from. It's coming from my obsession with the Truman Dreadnought from The Expanse. That's where that's coming from. Ah, now I know where the... where. Sometimes I don't know why I like a shape. And so I have to, like, figure out what I... Where is it coming from? What have I done? Was there anyone near our, um... Was there anyone near me? Uh, not recently. I what? thought at first I thought I saw someone over here. I feel like I'm going... Have I have I been absorbed into space engineers? Am I am I seeing ghosts? The space engineers. If anything ghosts? is possible, anything is possible. Um, I know it's pretty late for a lot of people around around the Earth because we're on the the butt side of the United States over here. Just, so, just um, that, that's another thing. Like, if anyone gets tired and they're like, "Oh, I gotta go," but I don't want to go because they're still streaming. That's a silly reason to not want to go. Totally. I just actually go. have to move around a little bit, so I'm just gonna mute my my mic real quick fair enough keep that blood flow okay also oh, welcome back great hey upgrade hey uh yeah i just had to go for a bit that happens yeah currently lost in um, this place I've spawned in. Uh, there you go. Ah, thank you. Yeah, Nero, if I know, like, we, we, we understand that we're very late. <laughs> And a lot of people can't do the the late streams that we do. I'm really happy with this front end. I need something more though. I got give me the greebles. Ooh, that might be fun. So, are you planning to just choose one of them, or are you planning to change them up as necessary, or I mean, what is your plan? Maybe yes. Yes, but actually no. <laughs> Uh, I'm not exactly sure ex what, what's going to happen at this juncture. Um, but one of these ships, or an amalgamation of several of them, is going to end up in... Well, in the lore. In the lore and on screen. It's a thing. There's... Kind of like, kind of like Clonk's flag. Yes, actually, yeah. So that flag, that was a contest. Yes, it was. And Clonk actually designed it. That's why I asked Clonk and Dre. And I couldn't remember. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, Clonk. I specifically remember pestering you about the planets and trying to find out what they were so I could figure out what colors to use. Yeah. And then I, I forgot. Oh, Nerf, they definitely need to be sequenced. For sure. And honestly, that flag, it, I, I, I'm a little upset at Space Engineers because I, I could have designed that flag so much prettier if I wasn't limited by the constraints of LCD screens. Yeah. But I like how simple it is. Yeah, it's a good thing. Simple is good sometimes. I know, but Look like, at me, what I, you know, very simple. What I could have done is just give it a very slight, uh, like, 
fabric texture and it would have looked like a thousand times better but the lcd screen won't support that so yep i'm uh back welcome back i'm doing? going to be putting my push to talk on because i have pudding did you bring enough for everybody <laughs> i know right uh sorry no <laughs> Trey, you can't ask questions like that. If you do, DE might just end up with pudding in the mail. Oh, that's <laughs> a very good point. Well, oh, Scarlet went to bed. I'm good. You you say that. <laughs> he pops up every once in a while in chat. Probably has his phone out, you know. Yep. Brightness super high. Constantly going, why can't I sleep? <laughs> No. I probably I probably will be the same. When when he wants to sleep, he just grabs the nearest crayon, gives it a good chew, and he drifts off peacefully. Um, hey D. Yeah. Uh, I don't. Love uh, that. good. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Spit it out, man. Can you, can you come <laughs> over to? Where I'm building it. Yes. Quick. So this is what I've gotten so far. I've got. I've, I'm not. I'm most more likely still thinking about it. Uh huh. I'm still. I'm going. I'm definitely going for a hybrid. Yeah. But I, I want your like opinion, the. If you uh, like clothes. Say what? If you like this, like clothes, thruster idea. Um, to be perfectly honest, it does not look. It's a little too closed, I think, for the yeah. uh, for this particular uh, universe. What would you recommend getting rid of to make it not too closed? I mean, mm, let me just play with it real quick here. I'd probably do something more like if I was going to do closed. Probably just do something more like. Yeah, for the, the just the classic old way. Yeah, just that. I'd probably just have it a little bit more open, and then yeah, instead of that. a brick on the back, I'd figure out a way to, you know, like taper them out or something. Give yeah, it a little I was bit more. Try to um, after I got more of the engine section yeah, some, done. Yeah, something like that. Just some some greebles hanging gonna, off the back. Sorry. Sorry. I was go gonna ahead. try to do something like the sorcerer, like uh, like uh, this part right here. Where it has this, like the shield it has right here, yep. and then have some out jogged pieces here to it. What is this? Why is this here? Is it fully on? Yeah. Luckily, we're all in creative mode, so it, it can't hurt you. Did someone bring the marshmallows? Uh, I mean, you didn't. That, that would we we told you, we told you we needed we need. The marshmallows brought if you didn't bring them that's that's not my fault awesome this is okay let's try the other antenna oh i was i was going to ask one more thing about the ship if do you think i should put like smaller thrusters like on an arm extension on top of the um engine pod on top of the engine pods um like I of course this is just an example like put them like uh, are you talking about just more more rear thrust basically more forward um hold on i just, I just need eye on here we go it's your fault fog. like something like this but of course fancy it up a little bit not just a straight yeah, I mean, column i mean this this is this is creative build world do, do what you want um the uh I, some of the ships have stuff like that. Like if you look at the back end of like one of the le less conventional thrust packs, the back of the assault ship here. I like this idea. This just is this nice... kind of the diamond that just kind of diamond, points yeah. out in the back and then everything's kind is of this, tucked in there. Is this assault cruiser ever gotten its a spotlight yet? It, no, it is very much a red shirt ship. Um, well, not a red shirt, really, but it's, it's an extra ship. It's in the background to give more... Uh, uh, I love the red shirt reference. Um, to give more kind of depth to the world so that it's not like three hulls over and over again. Yeah. Um, this I actually built this for a... Uh, 
for a PvP world that I never ever used. Oh, that's nice. Um, it's skyscraper layout inside, and then a gravity generator twists, yeah. and you walk up to the bridge here, and you can stand on that and yeah. drive the ship. Yeah. Uh, I also um, built a like PvP map, and I still haven't Good night, uploaded Wigan. the workshop yet. Uh, it was I made it after the um, the uranium update had the uranium heist update happened. Yeah, I think a lot of people I, ended up throwing stuff out there for uh, yeah. for that update. And me and my friends had a blast while playing with this mo weapon, this mod. I he one of my friends even made a uh, a handmade a uh, score sprint, score 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 counter. Cool. It doesn't actually function properly. You have after you get a a score a kill, you actually have to fly up and put the number on. It, it hasn't been fully automated. Ah, okay. But it's still fun. There's like it's a it's small map. We just pretty much used like the that um, asteroid survival map, and we just added on from there. Let's see if this works. Um, I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. What about... that one better all right good greebles going on let's see come visit oh bd is out of the box what has bd done oh he, oh he's gotten rid of the box and yeah I, I see that you you brought the uh the thick brick over i was gonna do the slice and dice with the nose on a copy but ownership issues Oh, um... Oh, wow. This is pretty amazing. Uh, the uh, engine out. section is pretty amazing, BD. Thank you. I was actually going to go for a similar thing you were going to do. Um, add a uh, ring around the thruster, uh, thruster pack. Uh, okay, the Malediction isn't plastered all over the background. There's, We've seen two Malediction-class ships in deadly salvage we've seen like 10 of these and we've seen like five of those and one of those um so sorcerer spoilers sorcerer got blown up and uh because it's a powerful and useful unit it made sense to me uh, logically that if there was one nearby or available that they would send it along Hey, Catherine, I appreciate the pun. It is out of the box thinking. So I need a docking port, probably midships here. Let's see, I want. Trying to decide whether or not I want to give a uh, cruiser like a small embarked craft hangar so that it can land things or or take on. I mean, it makes sense to have a cargo bay to be able to take on supplies and things or just, you know, external conveyor systems like everything in Space Engineers. But I don't know. 
Hmm. Good question. Actually, those can't go there. They go here. Uh, what's the uh, length limit? Um. So I would like it to be smaller than Unity. Uh, yeah, smaller but, than Unity, and how long is Unity? One thousand uh, something. She is uh, about two hundred seventy meters long. So. Hmm. Actually, I just see when this thing I, I might need be to make, long I need to make here. a measuring stick. Okay, good. much shorter than Unity. Good, 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 good. So we got. Actually, I might put two, get crazy, put two docking bays on their docking ports on this one. You mean like the, the external ones with the... Uh, yeah. I just did one on the left and one on the right side for mine. <laughs> Fair enough. That's what I've done with most of the ships, so. Oh, I keep building upside down on this thing. <laughs> there is no up in space. I know, but when but when your uh, when your cockpit and your doors disagree. Fair enough. Down it towards the enemy gate. That's Before right, okay. Must be away from the enemy gate. No, there's no up. There's just a down. Always forward, never backwards. Yes, exactly. Because we can't find reverse. Well, I guess that makes sense. You never retreat. You just advance in the other direction. Okay, Productions. Baba Yaga isn't in this. Look, uh, Baba Yaga isn't in any of the the show shots. That's just the keen workshop or screenshot competition, right? So Baba Yaga is one of the Malediction class ships, but she's based in the Soul System, which is why we don't see her in Dudley Salvage because we're way out on the fringe. Unity was built in the Soul System, and they sent her because they're like, oh, this is a big problem. Let's get the biggest gun we have and smash it. I've <sighs> made a measuring stick. Congratulations. Is it a yeah, yardstick? Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty much it's the length of the of Unity. And it's red, so I'm pretty sure you guys should be able to see it. It's right behind D right now. Oh no, I feel like I'm being followed. Alright, so you want something smaller than, than this. Alright, so how about I go out this I'm not, not too much farther. Okay, there's my internal volume. Man, she is a chonker. Hello, alien. We have a bucket, bucket. in the chat. Wait, we have an alien? What? Bucket. Bucket! Bucket man! Oh, there you go. Actually, the the red docking port does make the uh, that side shoot a lot a lot nicer to look at. Thank you. Oh, I like the curve on here. I haven't I haven't used this block yet. Yeah, that's uh, that's, that's a good one block. Of the, the new corner tip box. Yeah, it really makes things nice. Like, uh, which corner tip? Uh, it's the. I don't know what it, what it's called, but it's it's one of the the brand new blocks. It's a heavy, uh, soap corner, tip, light armor tip. I think is what it's uh, called. Mm -hmm. Which one is it? Uh, which one is it? S sloped armor light. Uh, Keen needs better naming. One sec. Uh, sloped corner light armor tip. It's 
go down and slope corner. Check out light armor tip. Ah, uh, yeah, I use that a lot. It's a really nice. It's a really nice. Oh, tool. hey, I like the use of the beam blocks. That that breaks up that uh that the blockiness, I guess pun intended, a lot better. Hmm. On the uh, on the back ends of your thruster packs over here. Oh yeah, I'm starting to. I, I tried using the beam blocks, and I'm actually going to replace some. Of also, the, um, should I call you? Should I call you Godzilla, Zephram, or whatever the collection of vowels and consonants? Uh, true. Um, you can just call me Z. Z. Okay. That's how. Like, since my name's hard to pronounce, even though it's pretty much. I mean, like Zephram. Zephram. I mean, I can say Zephram. If that's, if that's yeah. what you are, it's Zephram. Yeah, All right. uh, I just you, you just have three uh, <laughs> three screen names, so I want to be sure I had the right yeah, one. Yeah, YouTube. Uh, the Godzilla is my YouTube, mm -hmm. and and I made that when I was eighteen, so and, or fourteen. I don't remember when I made my channel. Oh man, I was uh, still considering myself a kid. BD, uh, no, sorry, sorry, um, not to interrupt you, but yep, BD, sorry. I love the way your brain works with these like these little thruster wing pack things you've got yeah i'm tucking it in yeah that's so cool like the the little use of the armor the armor plates there that i need to, to use more oh man it looks it almost looks like some kind of nasty futuristic turret yeah what's the gun limit um, so think of like modern warships and how their weapon systems are. There's not usually like, if you look at unity, unity is about maximum gun density that I would want. Okay. Cause I had an idea of what, uh, for like a front forward facing, like a brawler, one for that goes head first in because mm -hmm. What I have so far, if you look behind it, I did start the front a little bit. I'm getting, you know, just from what you have here, I'm getting uh, uh, Space Odyssey vibes, Discovery 1 vibes. Actually, um, where I'm getting this from is actually uh, Starship Troopers. Oh, okay. Oh, you should see. I have a good ship for that one. Yeah. Um, this design specifically is based off of their, like, one of their animated ships from the new, like the newish animated movies they did. Okay, yeah, I know the ones you're talking about. I think John A. Warden, um, for example. Man, those Hofuns do look so good. Unfortunately, Lynx quit modding SE. So if those break, they're broken forever. No! I yeah. didn't even get a chance to use all these weapons yet. Yeah, I know. I also wanted to get a chance to use the um, Ormic NPC mod, but the the um, the um, um, Atlas Super Laser mod that was in it broke. Yeah, that it did. Uh, do you think I should move the um, the the railgun up, up back a little bit? Um, I don't know. Seems okay there, but if you want it, if, if yeah, you want it a little yeah. farther back, that's fine. fine. How does how do four um four of them sound? It, I mean, as long as it's not like super crazy OP, I don't care what you put on there. Um, yeah, I mean, if it's a forward, if the, if it's like so, sorcerer, which is a battle cruiser, has six fixed forward firing rail guns along with big spinal shooty thousand millimeter cannon. So, yes, yeah, so a a bullet. That is a meter across, correct? Uh, CIC is no bridge. You can have a so, a lot of the ships in Deadly Salvage have a navigation bridge. Um, Sorcerer has a navigation bridge up top. That's why it looks like a submarine. Uh, does the, Unity have one? I never saw Unity one. Unity does not have a navigation bridge. Okay. What you see, uh, what you see in the show. Her CIC basically is her bridge. It look it's a fantastic and lovely. When I first saw the episode when Unity got into action, and then I hear that one familiar space spacer's voice and space spacer's voice, and I'm like, 
the shack. I was, uh, I was very happy that he agreed to do the voice. Yeah, if he had wasted space, then you're probably gonna get Shaq involved. I mean, maybe. I, you know, I, they're they're separate people with separate lives yeah, and separate I things, right? So, I, yeah. So I, I, I don't like to, uh, I don't like to assume that if I have one, I get the other. But I was very yeah. happy that I was able to be able to gather him into the collection. Yeah, and I love how you made him into pretty much a spacer, which is pretty much fits him. Uh, I mean, we just put him where it was easy, basically. Yeah. Um, we just didn't want to make him give us too many lines, because, you know, I mean... Yeah. Yeah, extra. Busy, busy. Oh, yeah, he is very... I try to respect people's time. Oh, yeah. Um, time's always respected. Yeah, I'm uh, asleep and also helping that's out a, one of that's my That's a good call, OK Production. Unity is new enough to not need a navigation bridge. She's got better sensor coverage than a lot of the other ones. I like that. I like that lore. I have to start hiring BD to do some of my builds because... I'm starting. I'm starting to like his a lot more than mine. <laughs> oh, you I, I flatter me. BD is um, doing amazing. The engine cells he's created. Wait, you know what? Your ship also kind of reminds me um, of D. Uh, what? Uh, remember those colony uh, civilian ships from Battlestar Galactica? A little bit. Yeah, I can see that. The uh, yeah, um, that like that like the one that the president was always on yeah it does have a little bit of that that energy to it you guys know about the board game they made for the for Battlestar Galactica I've heard of it I've never played it <laughs> good luck getting it it's no it, you'll be emptying out your wallet if you want to try to get back to the board game well then I will never play it Copy yeah it. it's the same feeling for me I I'm empty, a board gamer. I empty my wallet for uh, for computer stuff. I'm trying to think if I put some significant broadside armament on this thing, or if I just give it like broadside point defense and then it just points its schnoz at people. Or, mm, wait a minute. I did say that the Union doesn't do missiles, but ah, they're pretty. What is the... Uh, so no uh, no missiles, right? Well, maybe. Hi oh my what gosh, that? that is beautiful. Uh, that was... That startled, that startled me. Oh, they're very pretty. They're very... Oh, blue. Blue. Look at that range, though. 7.5 kilometers, yeah. Uh, which weapons are these? Longbows. Although, oh yeah, I tested these longbows. They're pretty devastating. They're kind of in the mid range. They have, they have good range um, and decent damage, especially against light armor. Don't know about heavy though. Mm. I mean, everything's got decent damage against light armor. Yes, that is true. True that. I'll be honest. I don't like my build too much. I think it looks way too square. Uh, have you have you tried throwing some just random bits jutting out to round things out a little bit? Often that's what I'll do. See, what happened was the Federation found a Formic uh, uh, refrigerator 
and converted it into a ship. <laughs> you know, I love the Formic fridge. That that's a clonk build right there. And I think it's fantastic. Yeah. Honestly, that that I put like no effort into it. I know, but really it was nice. so good. I, I feel so guilty good. about it now because like that. If I knew the life that that thing was gonna get, I would have put like twice as much effort into it. But it, it it did. It was perfect for what 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 it needed. I tried did I did try um doing an O uh, well I am still trying to do like an O uh, O C character that's set in your world. Oh yeah, like a um, fanfic a, kind of a, thing. Oh wait, uh, he's an awake uh an awoken. Uh huh. Um. I don't know if you already have a na uh, some a character called Wanderer. Do you have anyone? Do you have a character like that? Name that. Wanderer. I think the closest we had was Pathfinder. Okay, because how I have so far, it's it's up in the air right now because I've changed it a few times here and there, and it's like it's this now. No, it's this now. Trust me, I know I know how that goes. It's mostly he's uh, he's got a similar backstory to um, that evil that evil um, immolation, immolation. Thank you. The evil, um, yeah, evil awoken that um, was being forced the, to the, fight the the, the meatbag hater. Yeah, what was the place that he was stuck at again? Grendel. Hmm. Grendel. Grendel. Um, for 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 Wanderer, he was in a similar place, but called Brimstone. Brimstone. Okay, interesting. So uh, actually, one thing sorry. that we uh, we love when people want to make uh, make their own fan fiction, and we totally encourage it. Uh, just uh, just so no one has any uh, confusion about it. The, th the only canon Deadly Salvage is stuff that either Nabarine or myself says is canon. So, like, fanfiction, it'll be like, yay, it's great fanfiction, it's hilarious, or it's really well done, whatever. Uh, it'll always just be just fanfiction. And I'm, I, I always try to clarify that when I, when I have people mm -hmm, talking about true. their own original characters and stuff. Um, just, so, just so expectations are set. I, I think the best way to avoid hurting people's feelings is to manage everyone's expectations right at the outset. There was this one question on the back of my in the back of my mind that I've always wanted to ask. Is during one of the flashback moments of episode or season you know, the latest season season three episode four? Okay. And, um, when Artemis was going through um, Immolation's um, memory banks. Yeah. And we see him um, going through those fights and stuff in the chase. Okay. I I was trying. I was wondering how you built his their like sparring suits, if that's what you call them. Uh, very quickly and somewhat lazily. What were their weapons that they had on? Those the were the side? Uh, was the assault weapons pack. I knew it. I knew it. I knew those looked familiar. Ah, I even I I met the guy who made the mod too. Nice. There you go. And the, his weapons are are beautiful. They're pretty. Yeah. They're pretty. They're pretty well done. Sixteen missiles seems like a pretty decent amount of missiles if you're trying to swamp 16, somebody's sixteen defenses. Yeah, four. Yeah, uh, eight in each bench. Or I guess top and bottom side. Yeah, uh, I've got something so far. I've got a. Uh, if you want to look at the front. Oh sure, I'll swing over there. It's been a while since I've. Uh, 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 go ahead, Fog. Make all the recommendations you like. Oh, super firing turrets. Points for super firing. Uh, I might add something to the sides, maybe. It is. It is a little bit of a stick right now, but I, uh, but yeah, it is. Uh, it is still being built. 
it's still being built, um, my main issue is always trying to do Greeble or try to add Vito where it's lacking. Mm -hmm. And that's what I've always had the main issue with when Consider this ship. live practice with at least 18 people watching. They <laughs> follow you around and watching you Greeble. Wait, what? They may judge you harshly. <laughs> Hello. Hello. But just pretend like I'm not here. Carry on. <laughs> um... Anyways, uh, what I'm going to maybe try doing is add an observation deck up here, maybe. And then uh, make the CIC. Well, where did you think I should put the CIC? Uh, usually you want to do that like center of mass. And have it surrounded with heavy. I mean, it doesn't really matter because it's a... Now, uh, how, um, how, how many seats do you want? Uh, again, doesn't matter because we're not going to see okay. the interior. Good, good point, and thank you for saying that. I'm not an interior man. <laughs> Fair enough. Function over form. Fog, I'm not scaring him. I'm just following around. Exactly. Motion for motion. Right behind him. Um, Did you answer Alien's question? Uh, I may not have. Grendel, a reference to the monster in Beowulf. Grendel is uh, just... Uh, a word with negative connotations that seemed good for Immolation's backstory. I will say I like the double hydrogen tank look there. Anyway. Time to go check on BD again. I feel like the principal just coming in and standing in the back of the classroom and staring. I actually have the most loveliest of principals. Oh, well, I'm glad. Having a principal in the back of the room watching is different for a teacher, though. Mm -hmm. it, it, the, I feel like Ooh. I've seen maybe a teacher almost die inside from the pressure that she was under. BD, you put shinies in here. Oh, yes. That might be a little trekish, though. It maybe is. Little trek 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 I, uh, I don't know. We'll have to see how it looks at the end and see if there's a reason for them. If, if we can come up with a lore reason for it, I'm down. It's kind of like a power trunk. Kind I of also deal. just realized that the little wing things weren't dorsal and ventral. Oh my. That's actually pretty cool. He, he yep. likes vertical stuff. I do, but I'm, I'm, I'm down with whatever. I mean, I'm making a stick with a hammerhead on it, okay? So, like, that's that's what I'm making. Like I, was, I was going back and watching the uh, the live stream of Tumbleweed, and I was watching like you were looking at the uh, Helios, and I was like, "Why is he looking at it upside or like, wrong direction?" I was like, uh, "I guess it does kind of look like it could go that way." Yeah. And then I started looking at it more and more. I was like, "Dang it! Now I kind of want to like <laughs> convert it to work that way." <laughs> I have corrupted you, my friend. I just did that. that, um, really that one... Sorry. No, no, go on. That was all I had to say. Uh, who built that one big civilian ship? The uh, the one with like those um antenna dishes, uh, big antenna dishes. I think it was Scarlet. That, that was uh, it was it was beautiful. Scarlet, Scarlet is made, really Scarlet talented. Scarlet is a builder. I love. I also love the Har the Harlock ship. Havelock. Have thank you. Yeah, Harlock is different. That's a pirate, not a, a not a, not a, um, if you say, if you guy. say, if you say Harlock too many times, then Space Captain Rush will show up and she's, she's going to school us on piracy. So be careful. I think this needs to be this. Um, is there if I take apart a ship to, to, grieve, uh, to like kit bash it with something yeah just uh, make sure you don't blueprint anything right um i'm going to uh actually i can probably just go back and forth between the ships stick with a hammerhead is copyrighted by the old republic no no it's not copyrighted what old republic there's and a that new wasn't even a stick sorry <laughs> i haven't played any of the old republic games 
I try to play the game. It just and, and as soon as I tried downloading it, it died. Well, that's unfortunate. It just it just, it just stopped downloading, and I think I think my computer is just dying from inside. I mean, it's always possible. And I've been in a um a big I a big game a thon lately like you have in DB like I wanna play this and play that. Uh the only game I'm really looking forward to right now is Homeworld three. Oh my yes, indeed. I'm very excited for Homeworld three. I'm curious what the story what the story's gonna entail. I like stories. Yeah, like yeah, that's my gee, I wonder why you like our channel. Uh <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah, that's my... I'm, I'm super excited because they've always had really good stories. Yeah. Um, like, I know you said you really enjoyed uh, Desert's a Carrick, and I liked it a lot. Um, but I think I, I do like uh, the original and Homeworld 2 a little bit better. Yep. Yeah, um, I'm going to be right back. My dog is tearing apart my bed. Oh, yeah. Uh, take care of that. Unpopular opinion. Homeworld, the, the sort of care wreck in Homeworld 1 is just we're traveling. We're running away. That's fair. Homeworld 2 is probably my favorite one. I still need to play Homeworld 2. Excuse me, Chere? <laughs> I, I am back. Um, my, uh, the, my dog, she's still new to the house. We just adopted her last week and she's just, she's just being, being what a new dog is. Spastic. Um, just tearing apart the bed. Yep. You, have you have you had a dog, um, be, uh, be? I have had dogs um, in my life. I don't have one right now because my yard is too small. Get that's a bigger dog. They make great lap dogs. I. That's what the my dog this uh, this uh, dog I adopted is. Uh, she's a um. I keep on forgetting what it. Pretty much a big beagle. Ah, you got to go bigger, like Great Dane. Oh my! No, thank you. I think I've we've got three other dogs here. We've got two others actually. The, the one on my bed is the third. She's one, of my, one of my best friends. He has a 160 pound Rottweiler. Holy and when you ask him why, it's like that way. When you wrestle it, you just might lose. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. The e my boost engine is now an open cycle engine. Oh, I, I gotta come look at this. Oh, holy what? Why do I have a I why do I have a clang feeling? Man, fog, you're out of the loop. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, Clonk. <laughs> oh my! It's like a ah. Uh. That's open, great, man. Open flame next to hydrogen. That's awesome. That's great to have. Uh, this have you have you not seen an open cycle rocket engine before? I actually haven't. No. Uh, um, just just Google Google open cycle rocket engine, and it looks almost exactly like this. I love it, Clonk. That's great. Uh, for an example, the the SpaceX Merlin engine uh, yeah. looks very similar. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. That looks interesting. You it's know what? Actually, I, like, I should go on the bottom with I, the I absolutely design. love yeah. when they added the exhaust pipe to this because it just makes great. It just helps with adding some cinematic feeling to to the to what you're trying to do. Like, um, well, um, one of my friends, he's actually doing his own space engineers series. And cool. I, he helped, uh, he needed, he, he, I helped him out with, I, I helped him out. I'm helping him still. Mm, words, difficult. It's okay, don't. I, I have difficult times with words all the time. Yes. Words are hard. Eased, yes, words are, words are hard. That is one of these um, catchphrases. Uh, I was, we were, when we, when, uh, for the, what we did for one of the episodes was pretty much my character in his series, he's crazy. Okay. Um, it have you seen? You've you've probably seen um, Critical Role. 
I actually haven't because okay. I don't have uh, infinite amounts of time and they seem to have infinite amounts you... of content. So Yes. I Do you know the black powder references though? I no. Have you, have you heard of that? Nope. Okay, so pretty much my guy is this like uh, I, I feel I'm gonna feel embarrassed doing this. Um a little bit. You want some black powder, eh? You're not the only one in this channel with a specific silly voice, my friend. Yeah, so I, pre I that's pretty much my guy, my character's voice, and that's what I, I, I pretty much stuck stick to that for the whole recording, and it's like, we we go on for four hours straight, and it's nice. very consuming. But all in all, it's very fun, and... Uh, there was just one incident with his room that may or may not have caused an explosion. <clears throat> caused explosions, huh? Uh, my ex-girlfriend... trying to make a grilled cheese. My ex-girlfriend's brother had, in his youth, a chemistry set purchased for him by his parents. Oh, no. Did you know that... 13 year old boys can quote accidentally make bombs on the kitchen table with a chemistry set that you buy from a store yep he yes. set he set their some like uh they, they have like draped things that would hang on the walls and things just uh -oh. for like decorations uh I don't know there's a word tapestry, tapestry? yeah um and he set it on fire Oh my! <laughs> Everything was fine. They put it out. They had a fire extinguisher, but it's just like it's interesting. We would like a tapestry. I thought of that as well. Mm. And then a shrubbery. Who used these um, beam blocks the most? Say so what? Um, I uh, the beam blocks. I'm trying to do something with the beam blocks and I'm still new to these blocks I've barely experimented, experimented uh, I mean experiment more. away I, I've used them some but I mean Is in my the right experience one? the best okay, way the, right the best way to use and abuse space engineers is just to keep experimenting with it I think I said I think that's I think I figured it out I don't know you have to come and look because I am very much still a novice yep. i feel like i'm still a novice despite so having this game since 2018 don't <gasps> don't worry oh, about no. feel, oh did oh, you no. just delete something you didn't oh, want to no no it's still connected i thought i just deleted the support okay. game no it's still connected i'm looking oh. for beam blocks somewhere yeah over here um this right here how does this look hmm. uh Wait, over here on the rear or uh, right oh, here. that looks fine. Um, fine. Yeah, looks fine. What All I find, right. uh, the beam blocks make excellent ribbing as well. It does. It, I feel like this. I feel like these were added just because you, they, the SE team knew you. Uh, probably not. <laughs> the only problem with using them as rib, uh, rib blocks is you don't get riblets, and that's just a shame. That is true. Wow. Riblets are delicious. Rib what? Riblets, are li the little ribs. Hmm. I think I'm out of the loop of ribs. Ah, ribs are wonderful. Wait. Of course, you... unless you're talking about the food ribs. And yes, yes. Like, oh, that's exactly what he's talking about. Time. So what you have to understand about this group of people is we love, love food. Oh, <laughs> uh, you probably would not. Uh, if I introduce you to my mom's specialty of ribs, you probably would not want to leave where uh, I live. If it's not a secret... Uh, can you tell us what she puts in the sauce? Uh, don't know. Okay. Uh, she doesn't let me really cook too much. Then, cause, okay. Because, let's just say... So you don't set the tapestries on fire. Got it. Yep. <laughs> I'm, I'm a nervous I'm a nervous person when it comes to new things, so... I can at least make myself a grilled cheese without having the same incident that my character has. Well, that's good. Mm-hmm. Because grilled Dude, cheese is delicious. Say that. Yeesh. I. Whoosh. It wasn't foosh, it was. <laughs> That's true. 
I mean, my dad tried to burn down the house one time making, and I think, cries for my sister. I forgot oh to turn off the, uh, uh, the burner for, uh, grilled cheese that I made. And when oil ignites, it makes a <laughs> sound. <laughs> Just so you know, if anyone was wondering what that sounds like, it sounds exactly like that. You don't want that sound. Except I'm actually pretty sure now that it was fries because it was a lot of oil. Was it fries? Oh, oh no, it was yeah. chicken. Was I made oh, fried yes. chicken. That's what I had done. Oh, that's just heartful. Poor chicken. Well, the chicken was fine. He left the oh. heat on after he was done cooking. We were at the table and I hear, oh, no. I hear this whoosh. And I'm like, honey. And I look over and the stove is in flames. Well, the the pan of oil was in flames. But he That's was able to get it out there. But also, the, the water on it, you're good to go. That's basically what I did, yeah. I was like, ah! Well, no. Uh, no, I never want to put water on uh, fire. I put, uh, I, I ran over and grabbed it, put a, uh, uh, put a lid on, put a lid on it. it and ran it outside. Yeah, that's so what my, my dad accidentally did, like in the panic and confusion, uh, tossed it in the sink and then turned on the uh, the sink, you know, and obviously the fire was like, hey, yes. fuel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was like, give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Which makes no sense because you would think water wouldn't fuel fire, but... It does when there's oil involved. Well, it, it, yes. The water doesn't fuel the fire, it just pushes it, it the just pushes oil it, yeah. out and turns it into a fuel air bomb. True, true. I think that I might call it and go to sleep. Okie dokie. She is very busy with this whole making a baby thing, so. Yes. Good night, Nap. Good night. Yes. And I, I'm excited to see the final product of everybody's creation. So, yeah. Before we can get to final product, we have to get to uh, the prototype and testing, and then uh, <laughs> provisions. Then we can do the final product. Yes, except except that's not how deadly salvage works. <laughs> I think mine is going to be the prototype that gets revised. I have no idea what happen what will happen to mine. Mine might just die in the creation fire. <laughs> well, we only have about fifty minutes left of the stream. Five zero minutes oh, okay. left. Oh, interesting. Uh, you just literally just decapitated the design and threw it on there oh it's hmm? it's almost got a i'm talking to bd he's almost got a oh, almost got a romulan feel to it oh romulan yeah I, I guess it was uh we joked about it so i was like oh, yeah I'll just try it out <laughs> i don't hate it it it's is a, it's a little crowd. goofy but i don't hate it Thanks, Fog. Man, I gotta step my lighting game up. Who lost connection? Yep. Oh, that was Nab. Yeah, she left. Okay. How dare she? Doesn't she know she's important? She knows she's important. That's why she's going to bed. Okay. Speaking of lighting game, you'll enjoy the lighting on the uh, Helios. Oh, good. I like shiny lights. Okay, production, there's nothing wrong with making a small joke. There we go. Now I'm going to bury that more.
I have so misclicked on this part. Oh no. That I never done, happens I, in Space Engineers. I've, never. I have done the uh ohs. I have fixed the uh ohs, I hope. I accidentally almost completely deleted my shit. Thankfully, that would be I didn't unwise. Have to do anything further than that. Uh. <laughs> okay, production says B E B D S discarded section gives me Firefly. A little bit. Do you just hate it when you forget to add any sort of thrust in? two directions on your ship and yes. now realize you're an idiot oh yes. I mean the trick is clunk is I realized I was an idiot a long time ago I mean yes but the, <laughs> the reminder still hurts <laughs> fair fair Putting a point defense pontoon right here. Okay. Uh, some shielding on the engines. No. All right there. Uh, are we allowed bubble shields or no? Uh, yes. These are the Federal Navy ships have shield technology. Okay. Just making sure on that part. Um... I don't think we have shields in this world, though. Oh, did I not put them in? Uh, negative. Well, that's very sad for me. Understand the feeling of forget of forgetting something. Uh, what was that? I believe the correct answer to that question is don't worry about it. Exactly. Playing. Playing. Playing is happening. Uh. Hmm. It's like one of those nature sounds in space and You're just looking, uh, yeah. looking really good. <laughs> you, you just hear it every once in a while, you know, you get used to it. It's part of the environment here. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. And thank you. I do try to make things look pretty. Yeah. And adding that blue definitely does look, uh, makes it look like the uh, civilian ship from, uh, the, from, uh, Battlestar Galactica. A little bit, yeah. That's yeah. okay. I don't I've mind. I've also been try I've also been wanting to try the new BSG Weapon Core mod that's been released lately. I think it's Weapon Core too, so I don't know how well that'll work. Yeah. There we go. That looks good. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, uh, DE. Yeah. So I added some like um, uh, circle shield onto the engine section here. Uh, oh, there the you sun's go. not really in a good spot to look at it, but I want to hear what you think of it. Oh, oh yeah, oh. I forgot. How does that look? Looks pretty good. Thanks. Ah, playing. Uh, oh, that's why it's a rotor. I, <laughs> or something. Rotor, hinge, rotors I are fine. Rotors are fine. Don't worry about rotors. Mm -hmm, It'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Flashback to rotor guns. <sighs> I've never liked the big, uh, uh, like exploit weapons. No, I don't think they built a cruiser. I think I built a support ship. It's possible. Uh, clunk. I mean, we might need a fleet oiler. Hmm. And I feel like, um, I see. Hmm. Same a little bit for the E ship too, because of the sea, the amount of sea whiz it has. Wait, what's this weapon? What's this weapon here? Is that an antenna? Yeah. Oh. Wait, is that a weapon? Something for the weapons, or is it's, that it's just a, cool? it's it's basically lets you target out to maximum weapon core range. Which I think it's like fifty kilometers. 
Oh, good lord. I also, I, I swapped from using the double charts to using single charts because, it, the, honestly, the double felt excessive with having the embedded. Is that double. a throne? A throne? Two thrones. Look. Uh, right here, D. Um, you see my, do you not see my um, um, antenna? I'm right here. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah, no, those are supposed to be flank erase. No, no, it's good. I like them. It's good. It's, not, it's a nice greeble. I, I like, do agree. It's I like nice the, uh, I like the back to back, the, the, the back to back, butt to butt action here. Um, <laughs> I was I really hoping you wouldn't know like, what box like they were. I, think, I feel like it gives a nice view of space. I mean, how much space, how much space you have for this thing. If, if it didn't have the little pee hose. It would be so good because <laughs> it because they kind of like at a distance they definitely look like the little rcs thrusters that you see in star trek bro don't get a close-up shot then you might have made a pirate ship clonk this, this I don't is, know what I made. This, it, this is it's this not is, a traditional cruiser. This is giving me like wrong. like uh, armed merchant ship energy right now. Yeah, it definitely doesn't feel like it's got the survivability in it to be a, a traditional cruiser. It seems like it's very much a, a, a run and gun sort of deal. Shoot and run away! I do have a ship that I built based off of a... Um one of your builders from the um, first episode of season three during the opening firefight between uh, the uh, FNS Sorcerer fleet. Um, it may not have been one of my builds. Yes, it was. Uh, I don't remember the the builder's name. Was it the the one that looks like the rupture from EVE Online? I have no idea. Ah, but I did make one based off of it. Uh, you might... Uh, it might look familiar. Is, uh, is it right if I paste it in? Uh, sure, but we're not going to turn this into a paste fest because that only that know, only ends know, one I, way. I just, this is um, maybe I can just share my screen and you can see it. That no, way. it's all right. It's all right. Where are you? Are you by your I'm ship? I'm over by my ship. I'm over by uh, my ship. All right. Do the thing. Oh yeah, that, that's definitely. I can see it's definitely inspired by that ship. The uh, I removed the like single-barreled battleship cannons and replaced it with the heavy defense cannons because it's a little cheaper and uh -huh. a lot more fire uh, fire rate. Yeah, that's why the Awoken ships had these. Yep. All right, I'm just thinking, uh, is it all right if I get rid of it now? Yeah, go ahead. I, was gonna I don't think you're going to finish your ship in time unless you're really I'm not going to finish it in time, but at least I got something with it. I don't think, I mean, my ship isn't finished. No one, I don't think anyone's ship is, well, Klonk's ship is finished. Klonk's ship is finished. I, love, it's, the, it's I love that you just kept the open cycle engine on there. I love it. I mean, I, I feel like if, if you ever see this ship, it's got to be some sort of relic of the past. Like this, this doesn't feel like something that would be in the modern fleet. <laughs> no. Like. That's why I said it, 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 it exudes like, like armed merchanter energy, like. I can see I can see William Nathan flying the ship. I I lost Nike, but I stole this with my teeth and a nail file. And now I'm sad because I'm William Nathan and I'm always sad. Well, um, I actually tried showing my dad your guys. Uh, I tried showing my dad deadly salvage. How'd and that I go? Uh, it, somewhat well. I got him to get to season two at least. Oh, that's not and too bad. At first, my dad thought the guy who plays um, uh, William Nathan was an actual other actor that my dad might have heard of. Uh, he sounds a lot like Jeffrey Combs. I think that's who my dad was talking yeah, about. Yeah, he sounds very much like Jeffrey Combs. It's not Jeffrey Combs. That would be amazing, but it's not. He never is, made that uh, connection. William Nathan actor is really good, though. I think he sells. Yeah, that is Nab's brother. Oh, really? Yep. Uh, Kovabomb. 
Uh, he has a YouTube channel where he does. Yeah, I actually found. Uh, I I went to his YouTube channel. Yeah, he, he's 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 he does good work. Uh, this is still so smooth. It's very smooth as smooth as no. Not smooth me. Must greeble. It's very not was. Well, it's already quite greeble, but it's just it's just ugh. Slow, and smooth, it honestly feels bigger because of how smooth it is. Yeah. I feel like I'm building more of a destroyer here than a cruiser or something. I don't know. Um, I think it needs something, some kind of outriggers somehow, somewhere. Yeah. Um, I, but I do I, need reverse I know I'm thrust. Missing, I'm, I know I'm missing something, though. And those are rev reverse thrusters. I can put some in the nose. Bury them here and here. Bury them a little deeper than that. Put the passages in front. You don't need a first thrust. You don't need it, but I don't have anything doing flip and burns in Deadly Salvage. Again, you don't oh, actually, need a first no, I thrust. I guess, I guess Mart Artemis did do a flip and burn. Uh, in that first season. Uh, ramming speed. Nigh. No, see what you do is you aim for a planetary body and then you use a gravity assist to slow you down. I had still flip and burn. Uh who's tested out the um HTL torpedo? Um, I haven't yet. I think it does insane amounts of damage though okay so i'm adding one to the front of this ship of my ship oh i know what i can do i was talking about putting like a hangar for smaller ships on it mm -hmm. might put something oh what you got there clunk um uh, i was thinking you've got these missile pods out here right yeah they go up and down relative to the ship Aim directly for a planetary body. Use litho breaking. I mean, litho breaking is very effective. I mean, something's going to be breaking, that's for sure. Hopefully, your inertia dampeners are on, or else it will be your spleen. Oh, I think you have more to worry about than your spleen if you're litho breaking. I mean, the spleen's probably going to get it too, though. Like, ow, my squiggly spooge. <laughs> oh boy. I don't think I ever figured that cartoon out. I don't think Joan and Vasquez figured it out. What about something like that as an outrigging piece? Uh, obviously, it's not connected to the main body because it's just an experiment. But oh, you thinking like a like a communications array almost? Yeah, something like that, where like the spines come up between where the missiles are, so the missiles like fire through them. Yeah. Hmm. That might work. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm thinking about. Uh, maybe enlarging part of one of the sections and throwing uh, a, a small a small craft bay in there that could carry like a, a shuttle or two because yeah, it makes actually, sense was... it makes sense for a, a ship this size to have some embarked craft for you know shuttling people over to stations so they don't have to dock the whole ship over there because there's new magnetic plates, and you could literally just have ships, like, in cradles on the side. Like, oh, that's true, too. Like, obviously flip these 90 degrees so that they're coming out. But you mm -hmm. know what I mean. Like, Yeah. All you really need is somewhat of a flat area to land a ship. Yeah, but... Like a shuttle. But with ships and stuff, like, so 
with uh, with Unity, I tucked it all inside, but you can actually, if you come to Unity, go into the belly, if I can find the belly. Look for the big blue square. Um, so I put, I gave her a, a gigantic hanger. So I put it all internal, but it can only carry like maybe six craft. Hang on, let me... Open yeah, it door. takes because of the way Essie does things. It takes up a lot of space to. Um, hangar doors open. Interior hangar door. There we go. But I tried to put in like maintenance bays and crew access and everything in here. Even though we literally see the hangar looking out this way actually i don't even think we see it no we don't even see it i didn't even put it in i spent literally hours on this hanger and i never put it in so here's a hanger it's beautiful <laughs> everyone look at it I so. look at it love it i'm coming um that's a warhead what are we looking at uh if you go fly underneath unity's belly and go into the hangar bay that's kind of tucked in there Hangar bay. Oh my! Wow, I wow. This is very spacious. It feels that way until you start putting ships in it. Oh, of course, yeah. You know that the new hazard sites uh, skin thing would probably work very well in here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. for sure. There's a reason the skin is so thick, I so all that so hangar paint doesn't show on the outside. Added that so I don't have to have a mod for it anymore. I have to see how it looks. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It really is. Oh, hey, D. Hmm? Uh, what do you think of my suit uh, My suit options? I have this, like, mod podge of suits I've put together for my character. Uh, with the orange and the rainbow hat. It reminds me of what Capac wore in, uh, uh, what should we call it? Yeah, and uh, also I've got leopards. Survival, survival unlikely. I unfortunately went and hunt a leopard, unfortunately. Ah. The leopard was... Well, it was a space leopard, so it's all right then. Yes, indeed. A leopard. Learn from the it's loss of sorcerer. Sure. Have, well... Uh, there's my ship. Sufficient escape craft. Um, I could at least put hangar doors that look like they're, they, they harbor escape pods or something. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go look at BD's ship again because I think his is still my favorite. Yeah, I'm not sure on this front end. Uh, I could use some opinion on my end here. Okay, let me give me a second. Um, yep. Instead of having a front mounted, this is like an observation deck. BD is what it looks like. Yeah, something along those lines. Um, I would actually put that maybe like farther back and then leave this as like a almost like a, a sensor cluster slash uh please shoot this so it doesn't hurt the rest of the ship kind of thing um i like the idea of that although if you're if you're looking for suggestions on shape i'm not sure i'm kind of reminded of uh the nova class with the wedge the wedge shape forward end and the i mean it doesn't have warp nacelles but just the 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 angularity and how it it seems to be like leaping forward kind of reminds me of that yeah i think going a little more tubular will fit the uh aesthetic i yeah. totally thought the way the uh little fans were facing they were facing like the pointed in faced back not forward oh really you could honestly probably make the uh the the neck of the ship as it were one block wider maybe yeah i'm gonna fatten it out kind of like the front end of the submarine looking canonical vessel which submarine looking vessel because i've got a couple now <laughs> the deliberately submarine looking one um uh, oh the malediction yeah we really need labels on the uh, Mer merlin it's she's merlin, merlin yeah Malediction and all, all of her, all the Malediction ships were named after 
mythical uh, magic users or types of magic. This is a really pretty uh, thruster cluster you've got going on, Grade. I need light. The, Thanks. Uh, the oh, I haven't even seen has... Grade's build. Where is Upgrade? In the yellow box. Yeah, it's a very gray build. Uh -huh. I think the sorcerer or the assault ship. See has, the leg. Uh, yeah, the assault ship has somehow completely enveloped my uh, my ship in a shadow, so it's, I'm having a hard time looking at it. Ooh, that is a pretty thruster cluster. Oh, this actually reminds me a lot of the. Uh, oh, what's the name of the IMDC? Feels very much like that. Uh, I've I've worked with a couple IMDC-ish builds before, uh, recently actually, so that might be from it. Who's got oh, an Except IMDC. it's got a Rosinante nose, and I love it. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, what was the, that? The only thing it reminds me of is a literal uh, skull. Oh yeah, very that definitely that definitely gives me uh, that definitely gives off a um, IMDC look. Uh, but look at the front. That is that is one hundred percent Rosinante. Hmm. This is who is this? Upgrade. Uh, uh, my ship. Ooh, uh, what's this gun? Oh my! That thruster pack. It's lovely. Thank you. All the blue. Are you going to grind down these uh, air vents, or are you going to leave them be? I'll leave them. Okay. A little bit's agreeable. Yep. yep. Greeble. Uh, Greeble's good. Greeble's good. Who's still in here? Uh, we still, do we still have everyone from, uh, from the start? Uh, the only person I think who's left uh, was Navarin. Was Nab. She wasn't playing. It's like Jeray's not, yeah. not playing. He's just chilling, hanging out, chatting yep. with us. Because uh, he's he's a cool person like that. Hmm. He, he's cool. Is he chill? Uh, hopefully he's not uh, too chilly. No. I live in Southern California. It's too hot to be chilly. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. in Michigan. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it gets warm in Michigan sometimes. Like sometimes oh, it hits yeah. like 70. Uh, don't don't try to <laughs> anticipate what 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 Michigan weather is going to be like. It'll bite you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've had that in uh, Missouri. Within one day, it went from overcast to I think, overcast to sunny to rainy to snowy to back to overcast to clouds to i think tornado watch or tornado warning i mean that's why they call it misery right yes if you don't like the weather give it five minutes the only too. time i've been through missouri it rained the entire time oh no we're getting the weird stream choppiness thing unfortunately oh no uh, it's doing the thing where it's pulsing black. I think my router's overheating, which means I'm going to have to just kill the stream here. Oh, all um, right. I'm going to grab a blueprint of my ship. That's a good plan. Everyone take blueprints of your stuff. Yep. Um, Give me one so moment. So, stream, I hope you can still hear me. I don't know if you can because I'm watching the thing pulse. I did order a new router. It's going to get here on Sunday. Um, one of those big alien spaceship looking Asus ones. Um, I have not made a decision as to, oh, let me see if I can find the ships. Uh, F7, there you go. I have not made a decision as to which ship is going to make it in. But I like, I like a lot of bits of what I see on all of them. Um, my ship honestly looks a little bit maybe too expanse-ish to fit. The Battle Deadly Star Salvage Universe. Yeah, something like that. Um, Maybe a civilian ship. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to kill the stream here. But thanks, everybody, for watching. It was fun. Uh, thank you, Zephyrim, Upgrade, Jeray, Clonk, and BD for joining me. It was a pleasure having you. And j indeed. Yep. It, it was fun. I was, this was fun. Yeah, this was a fun this little build. I might have to do more of these just little chill build night things. Just and I hopefully I'm um, available times when you do them. Yep. All right. Uh, well, thanks everybody, and we'll see you another time when my internet is cooperating. Goodbye. <laughs>